Hello guys, it's Bud Red here. Welcome to New Oxford, which is a New York American style city which I am creating from scratch in City Skylines only using vanilla assets plus any mods which help me work better. So yeah, so to begin this series off, I do something a bit unconventional and that I create the grid in a empty map creator and then I use the movie copy and paste tool paste it into a new map and then after that I get to work on it like I add the water, I create the islands, I create the backdrop the backdrop of this uh, map is sort of inspired from Upper State New York as the city is also inspired from New York City so the idea of New Oxford is that it was sort of like colonised around the same time as New York City so I had a similar idea for grids and whatnot and just like New York it's named after an English city but yeah I just thought it was like sort of an appropriate name for it and yeah speaking of names each of the islands have names. I've sort of gone into this knowing where I'm going to put like districts and whatnot. And uh, people were sort of mentioning when I was like posting this online and whatnot that this sort of reminds them of a Grand Theft Auto map, which I think is kind of good in a regard because that's I was definitely inspired from Liberty City in GTA 4 for one. And the sort of concept and idea I'm going for is to create a what seems like a high density city like setting within keeping like limitations of doing this in a 3x3 three three, uh, tile radius and yeah just like having this a smaller scale so I can complete it easier because this is my first PCC I don't want to go overboard but a lot of things, I'm just using this as an excuse to teach myself how to use the mods and whatnot. And yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying actually playing this, and I will admit I do build quite a few bits off screen, but it's mostly just residential at the minute, so I could build up a population as I place down some industry into the city itself. So. I don't know what else there is to mention, but yeah, this is the central station I'm working on with a bit of a rail yard for it, so like some maintenance could happen to the trains is the idea. I don't know if this is terribly realistic for what I'm doing, but I like the look of it. We're not really going for super realism here, we're just going for like semi sort of realism if that makes sense sort of like what two dollars twenty does with his series where you get the idea of the bigger map than it actually is it's the best way i could describe it but i already mentioned the scaling and sky sizing of everything but yeah creating the rail track did take a while for me to configure because it's like in such a sort of tight space and like because i'm using vanilla assets like i would have loved to use like an elevated train station there's only one real connection into the city and the rest of the trains here currently don't go anywhere which i'm fine with like i don't really care if this is functional or not i just kind of like the look of it <laughs> believe it or not like not the most practical like, only one real connection as I don't want there to be loads of trains in the city the only sort of trains I would want are like metros as that's you know quite accurate to like a New York city sort of feeling which we're going for and yeah yeah so placing some uh, surface painter some gravel like between this part and next part I'm going to install a few more mods, not assets but mods, 
so I like so I can have a better understanding. So like what I would do is I would watch some videos on what mods to get and then I would get into game, notice something, be like, oh, okay, is there a mod which can like fix this or prevent something from happening? So took a bit of trial and error before I got into the game itself. And also like takes a bit of a time before I do the ultimate eye candy settings so this map looks a bit better. So the next thing I'm gonna do after like I do this bunch of rails is I'm going to go into some more detailing work in a second here. There we go. And with this area I add some like industry in between the uh, train station and the road, like the main avenue road. So the idea behind that, like the shipping containers is maybe like it's sort of maintenance or like train storage. I also add a, I forgot what they're called, but they come in the industrials DLC where they're like warehouses, that's the name. So, and that just carries hep made goods and whatnot for the industry which are nearby. So we're now going into night time here. I use some uh, light props, like the, I'm using the mod Find It here, which lets me find all the props in game and place them individually here. So yeah, I just placing some lights here so it looks better at night, which I see like a lot of people do is like, they make the cities look good at night. So I wanted to sort of do that as well, and yeah. <laughs> don't really know what else to say apart from like there's some terrain differences going on here which is good because I don't want everything to be completely flat which it is basically at the minute but we have an underpass here some industrial tanks which need some workers so in a minute here I add some like residential nothing like it's not fine on the residential which I placed down but I kind of like at the minute. So like I found these tower, like this tower in Find It. I don't know where it's from. Maybe DLC, I'm not sure. But uh, what I do with it is I play stick two of them together. Sort of like this. I merge them together. Like, yeah, I merge them together so they make sort of like one huge sort of like residential building. I even have like commercial on the ground level later on but that's off camera. So yeah I like artificially placed like, a few buildings inside of this one just so I could build a, a population so that the industry wasn't as dead as it is. But yeah. At, like at the end, I think I'm setting around like 5,000 population. So it's not too bad for what I get done. And we're soon approaching the screenshot for all the cinematics. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, I haven't edited this all together. But the screenshots of cinematics of the city. I would appreciate any feedback down below in the comments. Like I mentioned, I'm sort of new to this sort of format and uh, yeah, things are new to me. <laughs> so this has been Bird Ride, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next time. <laughs>